effective June 29th, just yesterday. Six to ten here. All right, I'm this far up north in the country, and that says no overnight parking for everybody, not just trucks or RVs. It's kind of nice to go on a reconnaissance walk, getting familiar with the area and also collecting some herbs to boil. I noticed that with the alfalfa, there's, there's two distinct kinds. There's a purple flower and there's a yellow flower. I'm guessing I should get one of each. I think they'll have slight different properties, similar to what you find with the brown flax seeds compared to the golden ones. See, in this city, they're going to cut this branch eventually. So I have no qualms taking a nice big, big branch, maybe right to here, take this for some slippery elm. It's nicer to get them big pieces, but this will get caught sometime. This is a pretty active city. All right, how long did that take from discovery to stripping the outer bark to this? I don't think I want to put all this in my coffee. There's the branch maybe half of it and then try to get the other half to dry it's very slimy right now and it, it drives fairly quick 80 degrees today I could maybe throw it on the dashboard all right what's interesting to me with this slippery elm is this is supposed to settle stomach problems while willow the salicin the aspirin is is uh, kind of acidic for the stomach and they, they work completely opposite each other, these two different tree barks. You could upset your stomach with too much salicin and then, and then uh, relieve it with, slip, with slippery elm bark. You can see here at this city too, Dickinson, they're not cleaning the outdoors enough. You gotta sanitize the outdoors more, city, come on. At Houston Park, 1605 First Street Avenue East. I think I want to park here. Not on this side, though. Oh, man, I keep running into trees. Maybe park on the other side there. I don't see any regulation. All right, I kind of forget the name of this. But it looks so much like hemlock, but it's not. Mm. It's got a nice bitter taste that's very welcoming. I like to add that to coffee. It's very, it's, it, it loves growing in between cracks. It's very hard to, to find a good one because it loves growing around civilization so much. Hemlock, you don't find that freely growing in between cracks. It needs to be more in the woods. Looks like they intended to make a road here. Wow, easy access cat cat tail. I could pull out some roots if I wanted to. I don't know what else how else you eat them. Man, I could boil a root. The big problem with cattail roots is there is such a nasty swamp smell. I don't want to like. I, I think that's a I think that's a real challenge to deal with. It pulls out if you pull the whole weed out. But then you gotta you gotta deal with the all the bacteria that are on this root. It's kind of a hassle when you can't really wash with a lot of water. See if you can effectively peel it. I got a lot of stink on me. It almost smells like fireworks. What I smell on my hands. Like that's uh if the water dried up it could could be a fire hazard. But it uh, melts in the mouth when you if you can get that outer layer off without even cooking it or anything, just chewing on it, it melts in the mouth. Let me just clarify: it's the most inner layer that melts in the mouth. The most inner, like it doesn't require a strong center stock, like the like the land plants. It's a swamp plant, so it needs a really soft center stock, and that's the best part. All right, so this uh, side of, of Walmart parking here is, is good for um, morning shade. 
but it loses all the shade in the afternoon so it's kind of worthless these neighbors have still been with me all day yesterday or I mean in the evening <clears throat> All right, so on just a simple walk, I collected a few herbs, this, uh, whatever it's called. And then, yeah, a type of thistle. I'll, I'll boil the seed head, the head too, the flower head. Various grasses, the slippery elm. I got to cut in half. And whatever else is in here, alfalfa. All right, so this hole has gotten a little stinky from overcooking, over overflowing cooking. I really like how this lip catches water. A lot of water does get in below, and so when I change canisters, I want to make sure I try to clean this often. It's just it overflows sometimes when I'm not, mostly when I'm not paying attention. But even when I'm paying attention. I kind of let it go a little bit too much sometimes. So there still remains a lot of slime on this slippery elm that doesn't just come off. You can see that slime. There must, I, uh, I, you know, I don't want to eat the inner bark. I would like to s try to scrape that off somehow, though, better. Figure, I got to figure out a better way. You can't just make a tea out of it and. I don't, know, I don't know how much actually gets into the tea. Right, so the slippery elm does manage to smooth out the tea. You notice the difference in, in the, it's just, it's a bland taste, it, but it's, it's like, it adds this slime, pretty much, this natural slime, water-based slime. It's not like an oil base. it's not like a, a snail or a slug type of slime, it's a plant slime that dries out it can dry out pretty quickly it does add a slime to it but uh you know a lot of it still stays in the bark it's kind of an emollient you can use it on your skin so i'm gonna hold off maybe i can maybe protect my face from the sun with it or something in fact i can apply some right now okay so i got this this slimy and all I need to do really, pretty much is just take the take the bark, you get it a little in your hand. In fact, you can hear that. <laughs> it's all slimy and stuff. So there we go. Mmm. Ooh. It's a it's a we'll see how uh, well it works um today. I'll keep I'll keep it keep it going here. So it can be like a protectant. Maybe Maybe it'll give me more confidence to uh, like cut my hair, and then I could just put it on my my ears as a protection. But it, it'll dry pretty quickly. I look I look shiny right now, but it'll it'll dry. It could also shape my hair too if I wanted to wanted to shape my hair with it. I probably shouldn't go too crazy with it. But, uh, Put some slippery elm in the hair. It'll come out eventually. And then get a bit of a style. It'll, it'll harden a little bit. So there's quite a bit on there, but it dries out. It certainly, it certainly dries out. So it doesn't give that much of a, a, a grimy feeling forever since it's so water-based. Uh, so there we go it's starting to dry out a little bit on the face let's see how it feels in a few minutes there I don't even know if I waited a minute maybe a full minute but it feels like it's dry it's not it doesn't crack it's very flexible when it dries it's just it's just kind of there <laughs> it's it doesn't it, it doesn't turn a color that you don't see you know you don't see anything it's just it's a clear water-based solution and it just dries and it's there maybe if I if I got it wet again um, I don't know Ugh. yeah it'll get a little slimy uh, you re-slime it I probably wipe some off but it could be a skin protectant 
all right this is another dead end here well walmart might have a uh, no overnight parking rule in their lot which it's down on the end of this road but this is a dead end road so you can't go straight there from here which makes this a nice overnight parkings area and it looks like these trucks are doing that they look like they're a part of the hotel and they might be but i could look like that too parking on the side right around there but i like my spot really good it's all it's also on a rarely used road just hanging out there looking and listening i see there's little activity it's a little bit of a maze to get to from walmart i'm debating park staying there right there overnight and not trying to run to walmart my only threat are cops of course and the weather today is very very appealing it's a little too sunny for me i gotta i like to be able to hide in my car from it gotta get away from it every so often you can see how little use this road is when they got these piles of straw every so often it's a dirty street not used a lot also yeah the road i'm on too is like that all right yeah second avenue and 16th <laughs> it took a while i can't see it i want to keep my screen kind of down and in brightness so i don't have to use up too much electricity but uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna grab some more of this slippery elm I, I like it and i don't find it enough break it off at the end they'll probably want to cut it back a little beyond the corner a little beyond the curb anyway All right, for these smaller sticks, there is no chance of using using the scraper in between all these little twigs. I just got to go in with my my thumbnail, make sure I always have a thumbnail available. All right, with this uh, catfish, I'm a little concerned. Uh, the cod the cod opened up my ID, my mind to salt issues, and the catfish has salt issues too. You got eight times 13, so that's nearly 100% of my salt from two pounds. I should be, I, I, I can't eat two pounds. Well, I can sometimes eat two pounds in one sitting, but that's taking in a lot of salt. And I take it all in because I'll drink the water. I enjoy it because of all that delicious cholesterol. I think it might be higher than any other fish. But that fatty water is pretty nice to drink but I'm taking in all that sodium too but I really haven't noticed any any problems and it's maybe the same amount of salt as cod so I gotta look at cod again to be sure about that uh, but I don't want to take any salt in and look at that they put in a solution I really don't care to deal with solutions ice glazed salt oh. I haven't noticed problems, but it is problematic. All right, here we go again. It's leaking. It's a good thing that the uh, propane naturally gets cooler at the bottom, so it's hot liquid that's that's dripping down. I got it on the lowest setting, and it could go off if wind hits it the right way. And maybe it's better to just cook it without the top on. Right, so apparently I left my foot marks on this. Uh, I don't think I made too much of an imprint though. It probably won't stick. If I could get away with parking overnight where I'm at, I'm thinking I'd like, there, I'd like to do a couple of things from here. I'd like to have a good tea. There's nice herbs around that I can pick. And 
launch my drone from this basketball court. Those are two things I'd look forward to doing, to, and exercise, of course. Get a nice morning exercise in. Knock, knock some nice things out. Walmart's not far. It, uh, and there's, there's three hotels. Three hotels. And I'm thinking that um, that's probably going to relax regulation for me being parked where I'm at <clears throat> overnight. But if uh, things work out and I don't get bothered, I have a nice plan to look forward to. Alright, apparently I misidentified this tree. I thought it was the cottonwood. I stripped all this bark from a branch and it doesn't have the taste at all like aspirin or anything. It's, a very, it's very bland. There's no taste whatsoever. There must be something in this though. It's a little bigger, I guess it could be a little bigger leaf than the cottonwood. You know, looking at these, this has a smaller leaf than this. Is that, I mean, but they're the same shape. Is there much, is, is there a difference? All I know is that the taste is bland. I'll give it a try. I'll just call it the... The big broadleaf cottonwood or aspen. Maybe it's an aspen. Got to look at the bark. It's gray bark. It's a bland inner bark. There must be something in it though that's positive.